In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to eliminate duplicate values from your query. So I'm going to start with a query that will bring back all the job titles from the Human Resources Employee Table. When I run this, you're going to see that I have many duplicates, such as a Research and Development Engineer and Marketing Specialist. So if I want to get rid of these duplicates, I can use what's called the distinct clause. I'll just type it in the beginning of my column here. So I'll say select distinct job title from human resources employee. And now when I run this, you'll see that there no longer are the duplicate entries. Also, in the first query, I had brought back 230 some rows, and in this query, I'm bringing back 67. So it's another hint that we're um, pulling back uh, distinct. So the distinct also works on more than one column. So if I wanted to do this with gender, what I could do is um, add a column to it. So let me show you job title and gender before. I execute this. So here's 290 rows of job title and gender combinations. And if I put a distinct in here, I should get much less. I get 93 rows back. Here's a little known fact of SQL. There's another clause that you can use and it's called all. And so I can go select all whoops, job title gender from human resources employee and you see that brings back 290 rows. Really this all clause is the same as not having one there. The default is to say select all. So when I say select job title gender from human resources employee what I'm implicitly saying or by default what I'm saying is select all job title comma gender from human resources employee so the distinct clause becomes a really handy way of kind of just pulling back the a list of unique values um, that includes this lesson